I'm Manuel Palomo from University of Cadiz in Spain, and I will show you one development we have made to use a domain-specific language to retrieve objective indicators from foreign language learning, especially German, in virtual words. Well, it's at the contents of my presentation. I will make an introduction. I will explain the design and architecture we have followed. We explain the proposal we have made in the in the paper you have in the proceedings, and then we explain a, a synthetic case study. It's simple, but it's enough to understand our proposal and draw conclusion in future works. Well, uh, uh, as I explained yesterday, you were my presentation. Some of you were mm -hmm. the ECTS system of, of credits that the Bologna process brought to the university. Uh, has very few hours of face-to-face -face learning and many hours of independent learning. This is a problem when it comes to language learning because you have to interact with people with the same, with a proper level for you to learn. And we propose as a solution using 3D virtual worlds with some simple games to make it fun for students. And then we had some, some issues with the monitoring of the experiences and the assessment. So we try to make the learning analytics available for, for non-technical stuff. These are four examples of virtual world we have created. This is a Saturn shop, like the MediaMark shop, where you have technology to, to buy. This is a waiter that has to bring the drinks and food that people order. This is in a room I showed yesterday, and this is a mango, this is a clothes uh, shopping. These are four virtual words we are using for, for German language learning. And they all <coughs> run on the OpenSync platform. It follows a client server architecture. We have a server with a database and different students interacting with the with the server. Uh, when the teacher, the language teacher, wanted to get some indicator from the performance of the students, he needed an operator with some basic, perhaps for, for computer scientists, but not for everyone, of course, some knowledge of SQL database querying and some scripting. Mm -hmm to get the indicators, if the students were interacting or not, and how long they had been playing, and things like that. And it was obviously a, a problem, because you have a, a lot of queries going and back, and then it was a, a problem. So what we propose is creating a simple query language, specific for virtual worlds, uh, so the the English teacher using the, his laptop can directly interact with the database and get the, the indicators. This is the syntax we, we defined using the, a model-driven approach using XTEX and EMF, the, the system we call EvalSim, if you want to get it. And the syntax is quite similar to SQL, but simplified. So you have the, the evidence, you, can, you provide a, a name for the query, for the evidence. You, can, you have to say that you want all the students or you want only the information of some of them. And then you have to, you have to choose the, the different metrics you want to get. The number of words in a text chat or the number of words in a certain dictionary that you can find in the text chat, 
the number of sentences, the number of single single word phrases, when the people say no, yes, and things like that. Number of turns the students have taken, time playing and points achieved. These indicators we define in the in a paper we have in the European Conference on Technology Enhanced Learning, 2013. And they were used for, for assessing students in our cases. Then this is interesting a proposal we, we have in the in the paper, and it's that um, simplifying the process I showed before, mm -hmm. simplifying this process also makes much easier uh, to create a refinement process to get the indicators. Mm -hmm. Because the problem is when you when you have a experience like this, sometimes you think that students will behave in a certain way, but they don't usually behave as expected. And you can you can think that perhaps you can assess the student according to the number of phrases, and then you see that it's not so good indicator, or it's a bit it's not so so fine grained indicator. So it's good uh, that this way the teacher can on her own without the need of a, of a programmer, create a refinement cycle for the, for the indicator uh, getting. So the teacher can have an initial proposal, makes a, a simple query <coughs> that is submitted to the, to, the, to the server. Then he gets the reply with certain charts or tables or whatever that he can analyze on her own and decide if it's satisfy his needs or not. And then if satisfied, of course, you get the, the result. If not, you can refine the query and get another query and keep improving and improving as long as you need. We have the need of, uh, of technical stuff. I will show you a, a very simple case study. Mm -hmm. We made it with uh, five students. They were volunteers. Mm -hmm. They have they studied German as a second foreign language course with a B1 level. And we use the, the virtual world that implements a, a joint shopping task. There are two players. Uh, one is the I think this one is the shop assistant. No, this is the shop assistant because he has the, the list of things that he has to, to buy. And this is the, no, this is the customer, sorry, and this is the shop assistant. And they have to communicate using a text chat hmm, to keep all the, all the information easily stored to, to be analyzed. Okay, uh, supposing that we want to, to measure the skill hmm, to make themselves understood in, a, in the foreign language, hmm, a teacher can say, okay, I will establish the following hypothesis. Hmm. Perhaps a student, I consider that a student had difficulties to make himself understood hmm, if he needed more than two sentences per term to communicate with his teammates. Hmm. So he, he can make this Simple query. Hmm? The name of the query is time sentences. And this get me all the students, and for every student, the time playing and the sentences written. And you get the the table in a comma separated values file, so you can easily use a spreadsheet and get the the charts you need. And in this case, we can see that the speaking pace, the number of phrases per turn, it's quite high for this student. You can see that this is one point, one point, even less than one, and here, more than two points. So student four didn't play very long time. Some students play even more, but needed a higher, much higher number of sentences to, to make himself understood. Then the teacher can easily refine the query and say, okay, I will focus mm, on sentences in turn rather than time on sentences. So you can give the sentences and be, instead of writing time, you say, you say turns, and then you can have a, 
another commerce separated values file where you can see here is the difference even higher for this student. Mm -hmm. And you make it the chart and you can see that the student really needed lots and lots of sentences and didn't take so many turns. Mm -hmm. So for every turn, he had to write many more sentences than the, the average. So probably, mm -hmm. It's an automatic indicator that you can get, and it's objective. If you want, of course, you can go and say, okay, let's see who is this student, and let's check the text chat to see what happens exactly in the, in the game, if you want a, a detailed analysis. But anyway, this is automatic and easy to, to get for a non-technical stuff. Okay, so some conclusions. We have defined a virtual work query language this is the first uh, domain-specific language we have seen, at least, for, for, um, for foreign language in virtual worlds, mm, foreign language learning. It has an easy syntax with no programming skills needed to, to use it. Mm. We also provide, proposed mm, a refinement si cycle mm, to scale both monitoring and assessment of the experiences. We show it in a simple case study, but I think it's enough for, for showing the, the potential of the, of the proposal. And as a future where we, we have to extend the language, the, the syntax of the language to identify different, different um, indicators that are usually interesting for foreign language teachers, like the, if students use exclamation, if they, use, they make <coughs> uh, questions, using the WBH form and things like that. That can be also uh, very easy, easily automated and can save a lot of time for the, for the teacher and supervisors. 